In tonight's epic Western spotlight, we share a story of a Titans offensive coach who was working in a different field roughly 20 years ago. He was actually in charge of an NFL stadium. It was a super job and he was successful. But Charles London's heart told him that he wanted to be on the field, on the sidelines to be exact. So he gave up this great job and started at the bottom of the coaching ranks. The move has totally paid off. Charles London is wrapping up his first season as the Titans quarterback coach and passing game coordinator. He came to Tennessee from the Atlanta Falcons where he was an important part of Arthur Smith's staff. London chose a move to the Titans for a multitude of reasons, including familiarity. This is kind of my second stint here. I was here in uh, 2011 as well, so uh, very fond memories. But, uh, you know, the chance to work for Coach Rabel and to, to work with Tim Kelly again and a lot of guys on the offensive staff and defense staff who I was familiar with had worked with, whether I was at Penn State or at Houston with the Texans. So Timmy and I were together for, uh, you know, two years at Penn State and four years together at Houston, and obviously we've remained in touch since then. But uh, I understand what he's trying to do understand how he thinks. To understand how Charles London thinks, you have to understand how he came into coaching. When he finished playing football at Duke, he didn't think becoming a football coach was in the cards. He thought instead about going into the Secret Service or the CIA, but he loved sports, so he accepted an internship under future NFL announcer Charles Davis at Disney's Wide World of Sports in Orlando. And then I got into stadium and event management. So I was uh, 1999 and went to Cleveland Brown Stadium to help them open their new stadium as the assistant manager and then eventually got hired by the New England Patriots as their director of uh, stadium operations for Gillette Stadium. And then one day you say, eh, I want to coach. Yeah, I was probably 29, 30 years old. I mean, did you, did you think to yourself at that point, Look, I, this is what I want to do, but I can't give this up. You know, I did. There were some, it was some tough decisions to make, but I told myself, look, I don't want to regret this for the rest of my life. I think I want to coach, and if I'm going to pull the trigger, I, I got to do it now. So um, I left my job in New England, went back to Duke where I played and started as a graduate assistant. Attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it, attack it. Charles London went from Duke to a quality control job with the Bears. He scouted for the Philadelphia Eagles. We mentioned that he spent 2011 on the offensive staff with the Titans. Then it was on to Happy Valley. Another great experience for London, his time on the staff at Penn State. When I went to Penn State, um, I was a recruiting coordinator and running backs coach, so the evaluation of talent really carried over to the recruiting coordinator aspect of it. For the last 10 seasons, he's been back in the NFL with the Houston Texans, with the Chicago Bears, with the Atlanta Falcons, and now back with the Tennessee Titans. Real life experiences, chasing his passion, 20 plus years learning every aspect of the game, being willing to do any job. That's why Charles go, London is Good the play. perfect Good coach play. to develop Will Levis, and why he enjoys working with head coach Mike Vrabel. You know, I, I, he's demanding, but he's fair. And I, and I think that's all you could ask for. I think he's got a great relationship with the players. Um, obviously, he's been a player, so he can relate to him in that way. And I think the players really appreciate that. But he's direct, and he's honest, and he's fair. And that's all you can ever ask for for a coach. And I think he's a great motivator. And I haven't been with him for a season in a while since we were together in Houston. But the way he prepares the team is very unique. Wanted to give you a chance to meet Charles London, who uh, took a big chance. I mean, that's a pretty good job you've got running Gillette Stadium, and then you say one day, that's not my passion. And, and to start over, oh. it wasn't like it was come to Duke to be the receivers coach right. or the offensive coordinator. It was to come to be a GA. And, uh, you know, that that's just following what you, what you love and what you believe about yourself. And you try to have a lot of people like that mm -hmm. around you. People who love the game and have that sort of passion. Well, and that shows, and I, and I really was excited about being able to, to add Charles this offseason. And, um, you know, it worked out. And uh, giving him the opportunity to, to, to work here with the quarterbacks is something that he wanted uh, an opportunity at. And, and I ever interviewed him for the offensive coordinator, realized that uh, I would want him a part of our staff, and that worked out.